Good morning, Monday again. Um, I'm working local this week, brilliant. About 45 minutes from home, so I'm well happy. Um, the friend of mine, Craig, owns, owns an electrical company. He's got me in pulling cables this week, so why I've, why I've agreed to this, I don't know. But we've got all the drums set up to get lifted onto the mezzanine level, which is one I'll just show you. Well, you might be able to see it. There's, that's the, the platform above. So we're going to lift the drums up there, pull them to the switch room, which is at the other end of this building and down on the on ground level. Uh, and I'll, I'll try and show you the best I can. But we're going to do a little bit of uh, cable Olympics just to see how strong the lads are we've got working with us. The Motley Crew, some of the lads, there's more going to be here obviously, we've got Matt, we've got David and we've got Ethan who's the strongest apprentice on any site that anyone's ever had. So the first, the, we thought while we're waiting, because we've got to wait, there's all the drums, we're going up to that level there but we need obviously the telehandler and as you can see he is nowhere to be seen. So we thought while we're stood waiting we've got plenty of energy and whatever else to get rid of, we're going to do bicep curls with the bar now it's not solid but it's heavy enough it's like two and a bit meters long so we're gonna that, that's the first the first uh, task of the day is see how many bicep curls we can do well up to five anyway so we've got Matt up first he's balanced it in the middle which is pretty decent brilliant good shot you're aiming for five Matt two excellent Three. Come on, come on. Pull it. There's four. That's amazing. Are we going to get the fifth one? Can we get it? Can we get the fifth? Oh, that's excellent, though. That's brilliant. Now we've got David. See if he can do it. Which handed are you? Matt was left handed, so we've got David right handed. Right. One. Oh, the first one straight up. Brilliant. Or oh, two. <laughs> Two's a bit wobbly, keep it balanced, that's it, excellent. Number three, excellent, that was yeah, effort in there. Is that it? We're calling it a day on three. Brilliant, that, well done David, that's excellent. You ready? Yep. Right, see what we've got. I've got a cool There we go. So five. We've got Ethan now. He hasn't got it balanced. You have to get it balanced. That's it, mate. That's it. Beautiful. See? He was panicking about not being able to do it. He's got two. Superb, mate. Well done. There we go. First challenge of the day complete. Hopefully, some of it will be actually installing cables. <laughs> but we're just waiting for, like I said, we're waiting for the uh, lifter. Once he gets us up and then we can get them on the jacks. And there is the second challenge right so let's have a look so what we've got it's not a lot of difference I don't think but the height of the hole in the drum is slightly lower than the cup of the jack so what you do we put the bar through and then you have to lift the other side of the bar onto the other jack so all of us will lift it onto one jack and then you have to lift on your own onto the other side if it works out it might not that one's definitely lower. I think that one's about the same. But we'll, we'll do a challenge for that. I'll show you how much it weighs. So although it is upside down, 
there's your weight of the combined cable and the drum so it's 353.6 kilos obviously you're not lifting 353 because you've got a fulcrum point but that's the next challenge when they're up there Right, the next challenge, see how we've got the bar is lower than the cup of the jack. So what we're going to do now is lift that up and over and on. Come on, Steve. Go on, no, no, one at a time, see if we can do it. Go on, Dave. Oh, it's not moving. James, you want another try? I don't know if I can do another one, mate. All right. That's me, I'm on lunch now. Come on, Ethan, see if you can do it, son. No, that pulled, that pulled you into the floor a little bit. Yeah. Come on, Matt. Well done, sunshine. Great lift there. So there we go. They're all the same. They're all the same weight or there or thereabouts. So, Matty, you've just sealed it. You can lift them all on. <laughs> Look at this. Eh? October. Absolutely beaming. Out in the fens, building. Actually, don't even know what it is. But yeah, it's a bit of a <laughs> bit of a change from London, isn't it? Look at that. Flat as a pancake. It's in uh, Cambridgeshire, Ely, near Ely in Cambridgeshire. That's where we're working this week. Yeah, we've got the stuff loaded up onto the mezzanine level where we need to be. So the lads have just gone on a dinner break, which again is unusual for me because. I never go on dinner breaks. Um, so I'm just going to go and sit in the van and I'm going to watch a bit of uh, Balden bankrupt because he's in Afghanistan, the crazy fellow. So yeah, here I am now. I don't know. I might have a drink of something, but. And then we'll be back with uh, a bit of cable installation or pulling, anyway. Right, ready. Up. 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 So that's what we've got left. Um, the cable runs through there and then drops in the corner. There's the nose there, but we've got the switch room is just through that gap. So we've got to get that down there. We, we need it. There's a little bit of containment issue, so we're going to chop that now and then the cable will go in sort of round to about here and then it drops off into the panel, which is mounted about there which would be a job for me, but I'm gonna to have to look at this uh, this bend, the back end of the cable, because if that goes up twisted, then you get a roll in the cable and you won't be able to get it out. So I've got to make sure that that goes in without issue. So I've took responsibility for that. Right, when, you, when you're ready, boys. Take a bit. 
final loop is about from here it's about three meters to there and then it comes back through into there and it goes all the way along then it drops down at the end to go through into the switch room where I showed you before so I've just came up just to not I'm saying Matty didn't know what to do but you can't afford to get a twist in this because if you do the job's knackered so I'm gonna get it turned in now um, I don't think we're going to have time to get the corner set, probably have to do that in the morning. And then it'll be new drum set up, another one in, round that roller. And There we go, one cable installed, not yet tied in, because that we've got to get this bend. It, that'll probably come out a little bit around there. Um, and then it's got to be tied in along. We'll probably get, like I've just said, we'll get the other drum round, up on the jacks, do another bit of cable Olympics, and then time for, time to hit the road. With your knees, not your back. Oh, okay, okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm too This is second, there. second bite of the cherry. Go. <laughs> nah, nah, he's getting shorter. I think you've got a bite, mate. Your bail arm's going. Hey, yeah. you're up. Come on. Oh, it's moving, it's moving! Oh, so close! So close! He, he, he won't be beaten, I'll give him... 10 out of 10 for determination. Two, three, go! Oh, come on, he's weakening now, he's weakening. Oh, so close! Unlucky, Dave. Here we go. No. In. Right, I couldn't let Coy take all of the uh, all the plaudits, so I'm trying to have a go myself. Right, we've been busy this morning. Second one all the way in both ends. So we've got um, this the third one now. It's jacked up, ready to go, and we're just transferring the rope to the end. So we're going to take it in. The way we took the fur, everyone just basically repeat, each leap, rave, repeat. So that'll go in, up onto there, up onto the corner, round, along that way. And then, back end laid here, I'll show you the back end, when we do this one, I'll show you what I'm, what I'm doing with it, so it doesn't, doesn't roll and kink and bird cage and all that sort of stuff, so I'll show you that in a bit. We don't have a cable sock, so what I've done, tie a clove hitch at the bottom, secure the tail end with the tie wrap and then all the way up we've got half hitches at the top and secure. the only reason that's tied on there is so you don't get a separation between the rope and the nose of the cable where you get stuck somewhere on a on a thread bar or something but yeah that's the if you don't have a cable sock you can always it's not ideal you can always put one of those on though so we've got the cable dropping now and then it runs around this way because of the way that the, the armoring is uh, twisted on to the cable when it's machined so it it wants to go we need it to go down that way so if we'd done this the other way if we'd let that roll and put put it out in that fashion and the, the nose of the cable was on that side what you'd have is a twist. The smaller this loop got, you'd create a twist in the cable and you'd never be able to get it out. So we've took it that, because I know it needs to go in that side. So we've run the loop out of the flake, as it's called, round that way. So the nose is on that side of the loop. And then it goes through in there and that'll avoid all your twists. If you can remember that, easy, it's an easy thing to remember really. But yeah, if you practice that, We've done the other three that way, they went twisted. They're now hanging down there, if you can see. They go down into the switch room, all twist free. Happy diddly days. Yep, yep, ready. Okay, slowly.
Are you ready? You ready? We're going to straight over that one as well. Yeah. Straight up and over. Oh, you're going for the long walk as well. I like this. Look at that. Both of these, both called Jack, funnily enough. Beautiful. We've got the cutoffs of the 4 car 95, so Ethan's just going to lift it up the step now. There he goes. Well, hang on, Ethan's going to lift it. Is Ethan going to lift it? Come on, on your shoulder, one leg on, use the door to pull yourself in. Come on. On your shoulder, yeah. You can do it. But what? Uh, is it Happy Gilmore? No, Waterboy. You can do it. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Lift it. Come on, Ethan. Oh, and that's cheating. That's cheating. Uh -huh. You're not allowed to do that. Oh, well. That's cheating. I'm not get it. Right, come on and swap over. There you go, you film, I'll lift. It's, it's already recording. Oh, your bubbly's got it. Yeah, show off. Bloody big show off. We've got the big guns out now. We've got the uh, the tugger on the go, so it's set up. The cable comes through underneath that pipe, and we're going to pull a load off in this area, and then it turns, goes along there to the end of the duct. And then it goes through that wall there and drops down to the uh, piece of equipment that it's gone to. Trouble is, I've now connected this to where it needs to be and I'm stuck in the lifter now, I can't move. I didn't think that through. So we've moved it now. These are the single core 630 mil cables, right? They've been installed, but the switch gear will only take a 500 mil. So now these are gonna to have to get pulled out, which is why we've brought the winch over. From there, can you see? That's the switch room there. So they've got to come from there, through these ducts, and then the 500 mils are coming tomorrow, which we are then gonna lay in the trench on sand. But I thought, well, why struggle pulling them hand over hand when we've got the winch here? I want to use the van as a anchor point and just pull them out. So we'll see how that goes. A lovely, bright Cambridgeshire morning. Fenland morning. So we've got the tugger back outside. Um, what we did yesterday, <clears throat> excuse me, we cut. Let's get in the trench. So we cut the cables here, four of them, chopped, and then pulled the remaining part through the ducts from inside the switch room over there. Now, this morning, we don't have that luxury because the, the remainder of the cables... Sorry, I'm just trying to not put my... Registration plate in shot. So the remainder of them, one, two, three, four, have to be pulled out in their entirety, which makes life a little bit more difficult because there's more of it, basically. So there's about 10, 12 metres inside the switch room, and then there's this piece here. So they've got to be taken out in one hit. We'll just see how we get how we get on. But then we've got an arrival of a drum of cable, apparently, for, with 500 mil singles on it. And then that we're going to pull that into the trench around, get all the back measures. There's Coy waving, 
get all the back measures off and then that will be for me tomorrow to um, gland and terminate them into the panel which is inside the switch room which I'll go and show you now. They come, obviously the ducts are under there, they come under the panel, up the ladder rack at the back, sweep over the top and down into this. So this is the terminations that we've got for tomorrow. Alley gland plate going on the top, down to the, there, the 630mm lugs, but obviously they'll be changed for 500s. Decent lump of room, shouldn't be fighting too much. Uh, hoping to get them done in, um, well, relatively early, hopefully. And uh, then I can skedaddle home. And I'll be back to London tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, on Monday. But yeah, I'll show you the rest of what happens today. I'm going to get a bit of, but a couple of shots pulling the cables out. Didn't get any yesterday. <clears throat> None at all. Because basically I was on the winch pulling, using the uh, the capstans because none of the other lads were like confident of doing it. So I'm going to set the tripod up this afternoon, uh, this morning, and we'll get some footage of the, the cables being pulled away over the road. But yeah, yeah. see you in a bit. Hey, back in the day, they would die on the webcam, and they would do it for free. <laughs> we have a YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. That's cool, man. Right, boys. Let's go. So what's happening here is the lads are moving the rope back down the cable but because it's not pulling the cable from one nose from the nose end this is called taking a snatch now for the filthy minded of you you might be thinking of something else but uh, anyway so you slide the knot down the cable restart the uh, the winch and the lads just carry the uh, extra cable away but yeah this is called taking a snatch Ready when you are, gents. Oh, are you? Cow. No, it doesn't cut out, it's just in the. It's crossed over. Yeah. 
Right, you ready? Then I'm gonna get out. <clears throat> ready? Right, let's go. Ready. Ready, boys? As if by magic we put a 185 in as well obviously it's it comes out like that so we can utilize the other ducts I'd have preferred it to go straight but you're gonna cut stuff off because the trench isn't very wide at this point you've got like a, a wee bobby trench it goes it's a bit it goes round there round there and then about that was the drum that's where it was on the corner and we took it off walked it along so that's in now tell you what they say sparks are messy, but I think plasters will give them a run for the money. We've only been gone for a day. Look at the state of this. This looks like a room. I'm not about the gear that they've laid all over the top of the cable drum. All right. Look at this. Bloody Nora. Another beautiful Fenland morning. The lads are out. Uh, They're getting the drum jacked up now. Oh look, there's Ely Cathedral in the background as the mist rises from the land to grant us a brand new day. Isn't that lovely? Anyway, there's the trench, they're bringing it through. They've got to go through some ducts on the outside which are a bit precarious. They're not the best. They haven't been designed the greatest. It comes underneath the floor up that rack the 900 rack at the back from there I don't know we haven't decided yet whether I'll be able to get them down and then let them flow in to the I've just temporarily marked the uh, the panel so they, they might they might flow in and just straight down if I can get a bend on them there They're, they've been downgraded because they that one there is a 630 mil these are now 500 mils but like I showed you yesterday there is quite a bit of room in the uh, in the panel and this is my little trick which I'm going to do a separate video on on TikTok just to show you that little trick of marking the panel having realized I didn't film the end <laughs> of the video this is about three weeks later now so that's the the 500 singles coming in that's them from the front uh, just the way that the 
the bars were configured, that's the way that they had to go. Two, two, three, and so it's a bit awkward. But I can't take that off now because it's alive. That's what I've been doing today. Bloody small cables. Anyway, that's the end of three weeks ago's video, which I'm going to upload tonight because I've been a bit slack recently. Um, yeah, so we'll do the old spiel. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to subscribe, subscribe. As long as you watch and you enjoy it, that's all I'm interested in, really. And just remember, little thumbs up if you got this far. Thank you very much. See you in a bit. See you on the next one.